Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. A title change. Superstars are shaken up. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn get their jobs back. And order your copy of WWE's latest single. Raw and SmackDown combine forces to bring you the best of both brands. Catchy name. From absolutely no record stores now. I'm Ollie Davis. Click the I above my head to vote for what you thought of the show. Where you can choose from in all core, average, poor and bore. As I review the superstar shakeup Raw. In about four minutes. Raw's first new acquisition was United States champion Jinder Mahal, who immediately started demanding limos and other expensive heelish things from Kurt Angle. Kurt asked Sunil Singh to send all the requests to his email address kurt.angle at no freaking way. Nah, it's bouncing back, Kurt. Angle then booked Jinder in an impromptu US title defense, which was answered and then won by Jeff Hardy in a decent TV match. This doesn't necessarily mean Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins is on his way to SmackDown though, as the US title could be traded back there with Jeff tonight. And Seth's t-shirt does say Monday Night Rollins. Unless they make SmackDown the land of ooh, King Slayer. Jinder demanded his rematch at Greatest Royal Rumble afterwards, but was interrupted by No Way Jose's weird sex party. Even Bailey wearing a bib down to the ring wasn't enough to make me care about the latest meaningless chapter in her feud with Sasha Banks. Thanks. Which is a shame as they had an okay match that ended in a no contest when absolute I mean the Riot Squad attacked. Sadly, having words appear on screen didn't get drafted to an eternity in hell. Michael Cole confirmed the authors of Pain have dumped their longtime NXT manager Paul Ellerine, and they went on to squash Heath Slater and Rhino in a quick bout. Miz's huge announcement was welcoming Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens to Raw. Kurt tried to protest, but despite starting every one of his segments by looking at his phone, he hadn't seen the email. Stephanie McMahon had overruled him and given Sammy and KO Raw contracts. In retaliation, Kurt split up the Miztourage, drafting Miz alone to SmackDown, where Daniel Bryan will be waiting for him. Sammy KO and the Miztourage versus Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, and a mystery debuting star was booked for the main event. I don't know about you, but that looks like Vacant's debuting. But Vacant of course will first be defending their Raw Tag Team titles against The Bar and Woken Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, the latter of whom beat The Revival to win the Tag Team Eliminator tournament. It's, it's a tournament. Ember Moon then had a convincing win over veteran Mickey James, with Nia Jax calling out Alexa Bliss again on commentary. Mickey is really good in her current utility player role. Next drafted to Raw was Dolph Ziggler, still complete with unnecessary record scratch entrance music. Immediately cementing himself at a certain level, Titus Worldwide then invited Dolph Ziggler to join their group, but Ziggler hadn't come alone. Revealing a debuting, returning, Redate, I don't know what he's done. Drew McIntyre to beat everyone up. Drew back on the main roster is a welcome sight, but pairing him with a cooled off Ziggler is a strange choice. Roman Reigns is still complaining about Brock Lesnar, and Samoa Joe is still owning him on the microphone. Ever since losing at WrestleMania, Reigns has felt quite mid-cardish. Natalia has been drafted to Raw as a babyface. Or has she? Her big embrace backstage with Ronda Rousey was a little too friendly for my cynicism, and she seemed a tad annoyed when Ronda, someone she helped train, saved her from a riot squad, I mean absolution, beatdown. I'm predicting Natalia is Ronda's next feud. Baron Corbin's going to Raw, so they've just, they've just switched in the undercards. After serving them fashion tickets backstage earlier, Breezango managed a sneaky roll-up win over the bar. Hopefully this means a moderate push for the fashion police. Elias then called Renee Young Rachel, and said he didn't play small dinky towns like, insert your hometown here. Bobby Roode was revealed as the mystery fifth man to a rather lacklustre crowd reaction, because everyone wanted it to be Nicholas. The ten men had a fun match, where the audience were super into brawn and just, just brawn actually. But as a neat bit of heel comeuppance, both Dallas and Curtis Axel left Miz to get power slammed by Strowman for the loss in his big Raw finale. A decent and fun shake-up episode of Raw, but this is the second week in a row that's failed to follow up on WrestleMania's storyline momentum. Nevertheless, this Raw is core. Cool.
Click the videos on screen now to watch the latest Wrestle Talk stuff. And click subscribe to help us climb the hill to one million subscribers. We're still working on the slogan.